Hello again, this is Faint, and I figured I'd give you guys a quick update on what I've been doing with the underwater diving module. Uh, right now, I have four submarines in front of me. They're all at um, periscope depth. Um, and so I'll show you some of the things that I've done recently. Uh, the first submarine right in front of me is uh, Los Angeles class. So I'm going to turn on my, uh, I'm going to calibrate the BCD so I can dive under the water. And once that is done, I'll start to submerge. And you will see that there is, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, it's, it's a uh, Los Angeles class submarine in front of me. Uh, one of the things I've done is I've, ma I've made a, um, a mock-up of a dry dock shelter, a dry deck shelter, rather. <coughs> and, um, and I'll show you how it works. So basically, it's just a um, it's just a fuel tank because I don't have a real dry deck shelter. Um, but it, it's um, it is slightly functional, where you can remove a zodiac. So here comes the Zodiac coming out of the dry deck shelter. And now that it's uh, pretty much all the way out, um, you can release the Zodiac uh, tether. Uh, the only problem is once you do that, the thing shoots up to the surface really quickly. Uh, so there's a couple things you can do. You can um, you can get in as the driver, and then release the uh, the uh, tether. So you can see it shot me way out into the sky. So I still have to figure out a way of fixing that. But it does seem to work uh, as a concept. So I'm going to dive back down towards the uh, sub and show you um, the locking out features for this particular submarine. So um, there's two, way two uh, different hatches you can lock out of. One is the midships hatch and one is the aft hatch. I'm going to lock out of the uh, aft hatch. And once you do that, it reminds you to hit the dive key. And once you've done that, it releases you from the deck. So that's the hatch I came out of. The hatch doesn't open or anything, but um, you know, it gives you a good idea. This up here, right next to the dry deck shelter, is the uh, midships hatch. Uh, that's the other hatch on this particular submarine that you can um, come out of. So I'm going to go over to the uh, Kula, which is the second submarine. The, the 
this is the Akula right here. I'll show you how to lock out of that submarine. It's basically the same. So you just get into the sub. I'm gonna ride in the back. And uh, there's only one hatch uh, so far, so it's the aft hatch. So you just hit lock out aft hatch. And it secures you to the deck. And then reminds you to um, hit the dive key if you've not done that already. I already did that since I entered the boat when I was submerged. So that's the Akula. Now I'm going to head over to the um, to the Boomer, the uh, Delta IV Soviet submarine. This one's my favorite to lock out of because it has the uh, actual hatches for the missile tubes. So right now I have it set up so you can um, lock out of the uh, uh, starboard missile tube. So there's two ways you can get into the boat. You can dive and get into the boat, or you can actually get into the boat when you are um, not diving, when you're actually on the surface. So I'll show you guys that one. So now I'm on the surface. You can just ride in the back, and you're in. Uh, there's only the one locker, uh, so it's lockout, starboard locker. And as soon as you're in, to the, in the hatch, you can see I'm kind of inside the hatch right now, it reminds you to press the dive key if you've not done that already. Once you've done that, uh, the diver is released and you can open the, uh, open the hatch door. You can start to swim out. Once you're out, you can close the uh, port hatch. Uh, a couple of the other features that I've done. One of them is one of them is the um, diver emergency ascent device, or DEAD. Uh, this is something that I read an article about. Um, one of the uh, special forces divers uh, had mentioned that he used it. Basically, it's um, it's like an uh, inflatable vest, so you just go down to where it says DEAD, click that, and it sends you quickly to the surface. And once you're on the surface, um, it starts uh, blinking a, an emergency strobe. So to turn it off, you just have to reset the uh, DEID, which is right there. Uh, there's a couple other features um, still working on, uh, some that are already done, but uh, that'll be for the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, hopefully I'll be releasing this soon. Thanks very much.